Well, today we're at a concrete plant, but not to talk about driveways and patios. We're here to talk about septic tanks. The reason why? Because I get a lot of emails and letters from viewers who don't have access to city sewer. They're building a house out in the country and they want to know what they can do for a septic tank. We're going to look at an aerobic tank, and that's what I want you to have if you're building a new house, an aerobic tank, because we're going to take wastewater, we're going to treat it just like the city would, and then we're going to use it to water our lawn. It's going to be clean and pure. You could even drink it, but I'm not recommending that. But we can use it to water our lawn. Now the tank is really big. You're going to bury it in the ground. This is the top part of the tank. Over here is the bottom part of the tank. We're going to look at that because I can show you the three vaults or the three tanks inside of the main tank itself. The first one is our trash tank. Now whenever we flush a toilet or drain water out of a sink, it's going to come through a pipe in your yard and it's going to go into this trash tank. And there's really going to be three items in here. There's going to be water, gas, and sludge or the solids, the waste itself. It'll be in here first. There'll be a pipe inside once we set the top up and it'll have a T coming off of it going into our next tank. And that's our mixing tank. So once the water gets to a certain level here, It'll come in to our second tank, the mixing tank, and here we're actually going to pump air into the tank because what we're mixing up is air into that wastewater. And the reason we want air in there is because that's going to help bacteria growth, and that bacteria is what's going to make this water pure. We're going to pump air down this pipe. It's going to go off both sides like this, and this is actually stone that's around there, solid piece stone and the reason we're going to pump air through the stone is it's going to make a lot of little bubbles, just like in an aquarium when you pump air underneath the stones, those little bubbles are going to help that air really mix in with this water and that's going to create more bacteria. We want as much fresh air in there as possible. It will really be good for it. It's going to mix up in there. It's going to help break up all the waste. It's going to make the water cleaner and then it's going to go over to the settling tank. Again, we'll have another pipe system here. Once it gets to that settling tank, this is just where the whole process calms down. We're not mixing any more with it. If we have any sludge or solids left, when they get into this tank, this is at a 45 degree angle bottom. So it's going to slide back down and it's going to come back into our mixing tank. So we're not going to have to worry about the cleaner water having a lot of sludge because it will go back this direction. We're going to have to pump this out about every nine to 10 years. This first tank back here, our trash tank, maybe every two years, but that's about it. Very, very low maintenance. Now, after we're done with our settling tank, we have one more process. We come over here to a pump tank. Now this is the top of the pump tank. It's got a bottom piece just like this one did, so it'll be a little taller than this, but again, it'll be buried. And we're actually gonna have a pump inside it. Now the pump will tell us what the water level's at. There's a float down in here, and it's attached just like we have it here. And as the water starts to rise in our pump tank, it's gonna kick on a lawn sprinkler system. So we're actually gonna use this wastewater that's been treated to water our lawn. And you don't have to worry about the kids being around it or your pets being out in the yard because this is a clean water, basically as clean as a city system. We've got a backup float here in case the pump doesn't work for any reason. If the water gets this high, it's gonna go off and set off an alarm and we're gonna know that we have too much water in there and we can go ahead and take care of it. Very, very low maintenance. Only thing the homeowner has to do is about every two months drop a chlorine tablet into the tank and just pop off the lid, drop this down in it, and that's going to help purify anything that's left in the water. So we are going to have really nice water once we get inside. Now if you have to pump out sludge more often than we were talking about, two years in the trash tank and nine to ten years in the mixing tank, then you don't have enough bacteria in there. There's a very inexpensive way to create bacteria. Just take a gallon of milk, set it out, let it go bad. Take that sour milk, Pour it in your toilet or into your sink drain and go ahead and run it through your system. Sour milk is great at creating bacteria and the more bacteria you get in there, the better it's going to eat up all that sludge and you're going to have clean water for your yard.